Okay guys, so welcome back to another video. Uh, what I have here, I have my flight scope Mibo. Um, the problem that I have normally uh, with flight scope Mibo is that uh, when I come to the range, um, it doesn't uh, take into account the range ball, so it will read about 10% less. Like for instance, with my seven iron, um, I know that I can hit about 150 to 160 yards, and I tested it at home with a real ball, and so that's my, those are my numbers, I know that for a fact. And the problem when I come over here, I carry about 135 to 145. So let me show you how uh, you can just adjust the Mibo so it will read uh, the range balls. Stay tuned. Okay, so if you go on the settings in Mibo, basically there is the altitude setting. You can change that now. Let me show you, I have just, uh, right now I put zero. I'm um, about 200 uh, feet above sea level, but even if I put zero, it won't change. Uh, I'm going to hit my seven iron. I, I will show you how much I normally um, carry with range balls, and then I will um, I'll change it. I'll change the altitude and see how it changes. Okay. That gives me 133. That could have been uh, 143, I would say. It wasn't a good one. Okay, this was definitely a good one. It should be about 150 or 155, and it gives me 144. Okay, that was another good one. It should be 155 or 150, and it gives me 136. Okay, so on all the shots, as you can see, it never passed the, the 150. It was always below. And I know for a fact that that's not, those are not my distances. So what you can do is you go on an altitude and change it. Now, I would say about 8 to 10% more. So for every 1,000 feet, you get about 2%. Uh, so I would add like 5,000. So let's put 5,000 and see what... Uh, what happens so I'll go on the settings I put 5,000 and let's see if that changes the the distance so okay hit that off the toe and you can already see that it's 146 so the distances are more and this is more like my distances I hit it off the toe 146 if I hit it pure it should be 155 to 160 so let's see if I can catch a good one okay this is really good draw and it gives me 166 so I would say that's more like it okay that was a good one I would say like 155 or 157 and it's 152, so maybe I got it a little bit off the toe. Okay, so I'm in my backyard now. I'm gonna show you a real ball with zero altitude, and then I'm gonna show you a range ball. So, zero altitude, this is how it normally should go. Okay, real ball, 160.4, I'll show you. Zero altitude. Now I'm gonna use the range ball, same ball that I've been using in the range. Okay, that was stroke really good, really good. Really good and it's 142. So I know that that was stroke really well. And if you see here it's uh, 142. Difference is mainly the uh, the ball speed, if you notice. So, so you gotta be careful about that because a real ball is always gonna go more than the range ball. Uh, let me hit one more. Okay, so another shot. Real ball. All right. 158 I'll show you 158 okay 
and so no matter and this one's uh those are the bridgestone bowls they're they're actually pretty they go pretty far so uh now i'm going to use the wrench bowl this one i'll show you no matter how much i put swing speed it's always going to go less Hmm. 185 swing speed and it goes 140 so it's, it's not going to happen you can see that uh, you have to adjust it and the way to do it is to go into altitude now I'll show you something interesting if I go into altitude now you know if I put I had 246 which is the altitude here if I put 5000 And if I hit a real ball, obviously it's gonna give me a, a huge number. So I'll show you. So it's probably gonna be like 170. All right, let's see. 165.9, and I know I don't carry that much. I, I, I could, but and that wasn't really like the best swing so it's 165.5 so that's not realistic for me that's not a, a good a really good swing would get me there but not not a swing that i just had right now so now if i put if i play the uh, range ball now this should get me back to a normal a normal uh, above 140 so okay wasn't the best but there we go 152 and that was I felt that that was uh, you supposed to be like that it wasn't as good as the one before but it's 152 so that's a simple way to do it just go into settings here and play with the uh, the altitude 5000 I think it's a good number for range bowls and the only thing when you're doing this when you're adjusting make sure you grab a club that you know your distances for a fact so for me it's the seven iron so I know exactly if I hit it off the toe it's going to be 145 if i catch it really clean with a little more speed then it's going to go even 160 165 so uh but my normal shots will be like 150 155 so make sure you grab a, a club that you know your distances and then play with the altitude okay guys so that was it for the video i hope uh, it was helpful for those who own the flight scope mevo so remember to just change the altitude play around with it until you find the right uh distance uh it, it will be kind of like the it's called the normalization for track men so it's the same thing you you're just calculating a percentage on the uh, on range balls uh, versus premium balls because you don't want to practice with range balls and be puzzled about your distance because otherwise if you do that then when you get to the course you're always going to be long so that's what happened to me initially so now i change the setting and it works really good so i will keep it at that and obviously when i go back to a real ball i will change it back thanks for watching guys until next time